against you know guys that aren't your higher level kids. They get stuck. This guy's stuck, and this guy's stuck. Like nobody can go anywhere. You see this all the time. They're going, ah, reaching for ankles. Okay, I got to get this off. I always tell kids you cannot go behind until his hands off your leg. Because how many times do you see this? They get this down here. They get, they get this down here and they start reaching here and then they go, I'm going to go behind them. And all of a sudden they're sitting on their butt. I know. It looks like a real simple position, but I've seen it a million times. A million times. So, you're here. Okay, I'm going to stuff his head, square my hips. I know this is simple stuff, but I'm telling you, the difference between winning and losing right here. The difference between winning and losing. Stuff his head, square my hips. Watch me square my hips. Whenever I have a straight leg, I'm, it's straight because I'm showing it, but I'm going to straighten it out. Here, slide. Okay, I'm not, my knees are, my toes aren't in there. Slide. Chest. Chest where your hips were. Chest where your hips were. Right there. Now I can score. I'm going to score a loud point right there, okay? If I had to tell you one secret when I coached high school wrestling, we got really, really, really good right here. Really good right here. Throw bys, knee taps. You name it, we were gonna score head in the hole, okay? We drilled that every single day, bar none, without a doubt. Because every high school kid is gonna take bad shots. Every one of them, I promise. They're gonna, they're gonna dive in on bad shots. And if you beat them right here, you're gonna score a lot of points, okay? And I could spend an hour or more showing front headlock stuff. If we have time, we'll get to it. But my point is, Step his head, square, his slide. Put your chest where your hips square, right there. Now, some things, you know, the guy locks his hands. And we can go into that too, but usually if I, if I got both hips on him and I'm pushing on his knees right here, here, put your chest where your hips square, right there. He's, he's feeling it. He's feeling it. Okay, I'm going to score a lot of points. Okay, right there, yeah, then coming up. So when he high crosses me, here's what we teach kids. We'll start him right here. High cross. High cross. This hand is going to wrap deep around his waist, right here. And so I wrap this hand deep, and then I take my hips away, and I use this as a, as a lever, okay? So my hand is here, I take this hip away, and I hip him over. I might, I might not hip him over, but I'm going to get my leg back, okay? So here, throw this hip in. Throw this hip in, right here. Right here. This hand wraps deep. Wraps deep. Right here. See, I got him deep right there? I could go right here. Okay, so if I'm going to do it to CT, he's good at this too. I high crotch him here, right there, yes. See this right here? When I take my hips away, all the pressure is on his shoulder. Yep. As an offensive guy, you always want your elbows in. You want to be tight. You want to be able to, you know, have full control, be a part of his leg. So this is going to separate yep. him here. And this punch right here is really key. Utilize this. Now I'm extending now I'm extending them. He's weak there. There. Yep. Now it's sliding. This hand's going to go deep. This hip goes in. Side, side, side. The other way is right from the shot. We're both on our feet. He high crotches me. He beats me. Okay. Have him do both. Have him do both. The problem is, a lot of high school kids, 